heat and internal energy. We hinted around about the fact that energy can be stored in, in random thermal motion. And here's where we begin to confront these kinds of ideas. Define heat. So the word heat is used in a lot of different ways in colloquial usage, but we'll uh, define it in a very specific way. Heat is energy measured in joules that flows from the higher temperature object to a lower temperature object because of a difference in their temperatures. So you're holding a, a cup of hot chocolate and uh, that hot chocolate is hotter than you are. And for that reason, there's heat flow from the cup into your body. It flows from hot to cold, always from hot to cold. Heat that flows from hot to cold comes from the internal energy of the hot substance. And this is associated with random thermal motion. All objects, the air, the solids in here, are at a particular temperature, say 72 degrees Fahrenheit here in the room, but every molecule in there actually bounces around thermally at a very high rate of speed, as it turns out. And that random thermal motion increases as you increase the temperature. So what happens with this particular example is that the hot uh, molecules of, of hot chocolate are bouncing around a lot. They transfer some of that high energy bouncing to the cup, which causes the molecules in your hands to bounce around at a higher rate of speed. And um, that gives you this, this heat flow. It's a, it's a transfer of energy. So it's not correct to say that a substance contains heat. You can say that its temperature is high, but a heat is a transfer of energy from a hot to a cold object in the way that we use it in physics. Define thermal equilibrium. When two objects are thermally isolated from their surroundings, they eventually reach the same temperature. This is called thermal equilibrium. The human body is actually a bad example for that because it has its own mechanism for regulating its own temperature. So it's mostly inanimate objects that matter here. Um, when you take a hot pan of cookies out of the oven, it's hotter than its surroundings. But you place it on a cooling rack or you put it on a, a piece of wood or whatever, eventually the heat from that, that hot pan is going to go into the, the cooling rack or into the air and eventually the temperature of that pan will reach room temperature and the room temperature may come up just a little bit to match it. But once those temperatures are matched, that's called thermal equilibrium.